This is really as high quality of Shabu Shabu you're gonna find all you can eat like anywhere in LA County. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am out here in Los Angeles County in the city of Cerritos because I'm gonna be checking out one of the hottest new Asian restaurants in town. Behind me is Makia Shabu House. This is an all-you-can-eat Shabu Shabu restaurant, but what makes this spot pretty unique is that they are one of very few in LA that specializes in Japanese A5 Wagyu all-you-can-eat. Oh yeah, pretty elevated Shabu experience. So you must stick all the way to the end of this episode, especially if you love Shabu Shabu, because I'm gonna show you a grand tour of one of the hottest new Shabu hot pot places you can find in LA. And also, if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't want to miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And in the meantime, I'm going to be heading into Makia for early dinner, and it already looks pretty crowded. All right, busy restaurant. So Chubby Group started in 2015 and we've been around for eight to nine years now and Miki is a concept that we launched this year uh, and we're really excited to we already have three locations and all the Wagyu that you get to taste today are strictly from our ranch or if it's some Japanese A5. So there are two options. And then on top of that, we have a strict feeding program for our, the cattle at our ranch, which is why the quality of our cattle are amazing and you get to taste that. And most importantly, we're one of the only concepts that offer Wagyu, all you can eat, shabu shabu. And also that includes seafood, that includes foie gras. So top of line ingredients, yet it's all you can eat. As you can see, when you just enter Mikia, you get to see all of the Wagyu that you get to experience. And all these cattle are either A5 right here, A5 Wagyu, which is the grade for the, and the marbling of the Wagyu. Uh, all these cattle, uh, if they're domestic, they come from our ranch in California and Oregon. So a huge part of Shabu Shabu and a huge part of Hot Pot is creating your own sauces. So over here, we have our Japanese specialty sauces that are popular. And if you need my favorite, my favorite is always the ponzu sauce with green onions and some Thai chili. That's my personal favorite. So if you like my recipe or you like your own recipe, you can make it your way. And another huge part about eating shabu shabu is having your own pasteurized egg here. This allows your sauce to be even more delicious when you dip it with Wagyu, you get to really experience the Wagyu's richness. Hopefully you like the recipe I created and I'd love to hear what type of recipe you like when you eat your shabu shabu. This is pretty interesting. I don't see too many restaurants do this. So you can sign up for an annual membership, which is $28 per person. And with that, it comes with benefits. And I know for sure that you can get discount on your meats. So if you love Shabu Shabu, especially Wagyu beef, it might be worth it. So for 90 minute time limit, this is how the all you can eat works. You can start out with the basic Wagyu set for $45 a person. That's the membership price, by the way. Look at that, American Wagyu meat, chicken, curabata pork, seasonal veggies, and then if you want to upgrade, you can do the silver Wagyu set for 55. Looks like there's some more premium items here. And then there's also the gold for $70. Okay, I'm seeing the Japanese A5 now, but if you're a high roller, $98 diamond Wagyu set. So you get everything before, plus you get some additional stuff, and that is pretty much the the upgraded stuff. So that is my boiling water. We got the house special broth, which is that orangey one, and that is the sukiyaki broth. You see how hot it is? Really steaming up my lens. Wow, this is only grand opening weekend. They are so busy here already. This is pretty crazy. And I'm so excited that they have all these appetizers here. This is pretty amazing. So this one is the bone marrow. Look how delicious that looks. And I think you put the bone marrow on top of the bread, it looks like. That one is the foie gras appetizer over bread. And that is sweet shrimp. That looks so good, doesn't it? So this one you have to start off pretty fast because uh, you don't want it to get way too cold. So yes, got some bone marrow over bread. Fancy, fancy. Wow. Okay, I'm off to a great start already. That bone marrow is fantastic. It's so rich. So, so rich and so buttery too. I feel like I just want to order 10 of these. Like forget about this shabu shabu, just eat this. So this one, you're supposed to do it one bite. Mm -hmm. 
that thing just melts in your mouth and it's so fruity too. Okay, I can tell their appetizers here are really good. Like foie gras is good, bone marrow is good. You see how fancy the food here is? It's so incredible, right? But then they also have the beef sushi. Oh yeah. Mm. I don't know if you guys had beef sushi before, but I would highly recommend it. I think it's so delicious. So definitely don't miss the appetizers because it's not like the appetizers you find in your typical all-you-can-eat restaurant. You know, like the tempura and like the, the ramen noodles. This is some pretty fancy appetizers. So when you pay the diamond especially, you're really going to get treated well. Wow, these are such nice plates. Look at that. So yeah, it's all you can eat. So yes, have at it. This one is the Chuck Ribeye A5 Japanese. And that one is the brisket, also Japanese A5. And that one is the Japanese A5 shoulder. No surprise. You see, I'm going all out. Look how nice this vegetable bowl is. Wow, that's so cool. You got corn, you have uh, noodles in there, tofu, as well as some cabbages. And I think that's chrysanthemum. And you got mushrooms, all good stuff. You're supposed to cook it for about three seconds, or so they say. I have a feeling I'm really gonna like this one. Okay, you know, I want to tell you, based on what I'm seeing, based on what I'm tasting, I'm really taken to Japan. This really reminds me of like a pretty traditional Japanese shabu shabu meal. You know what I'm talking about? Like something about the way it smells and it tastes. It's, it's so good. Both the sesame sauce and the Ponzu sauce, knockout. Some of the best sauces I've had in a Shabu Shabu restaurant. I would have never guessed that this place is an all you can eat restaurant because when you taste the quality of the food, it really tastes like a la carte. Oh, it's kind of sweet. It is raw, but if you love sushi, you'll know what that tastes like. Wow, look how much seafood there is on this one. I'm so excited. We see we got some fish right there and some scallops and some oysters as well as some tiger shrimp. And then that is abalone and wow, some snow crabs as well. That's amazing. The seafood is gonna take about three to five minutes to cook. So yeah, I do recommend get it in there so that you can have it ready. I admit it's a lot of work to peel shrimp, but if you are really into shrimp, then to some people it might be worth it, right? Wow, this is some of the best shrimp I've had in a, in a Shabu Shabu All You Can Eat restaurant. No, I'm so serious. This is such high quality. I knew it. I knew the food here was going to taste good. Yep, because I remembered from my time at Wagyu House as well. But Wagyu House is more Chinese, whereas this one is more Japanese. You know, kind of like a contemporary Japanese. Oh, so tasty. When I usually eat Shabu Shabu, I tend to focus more on the beef, but hey, the seafood here is fantastic. So if you love seafood, you should definitely get it because this isn't like your typical frozen seafood that you find in an all-you-can-eat hot pot restaurant. It's good. Good stuff. Wow, this scallop looks very soft, which is a good thing. That scallop is one of the best things here. That thing just melts in your mouth. Wow, just like out of a fancy restaurant. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm telling you, the food here is so good. Even that is knockout. If seafood could actually taste like this whenever I go to a Shabu Shabu or even a Chinese hot pot restaurant, I would actually order seafood a lot more often. So if you come just for the seafood, I, you're gonna really like it here. All right, so for round two, I'm moving on to something that's a little bit different. This is called the full blood chuck ribeye. Have you ever heard of this grade before, full blood? See, they even have the full blood shoulder, which I really like because I tried the Japanese one. 
Australian chuck ribeye. Yes, and then in the bottom, we got American chuck. This restaurant is so full of surprises. They have American, Japanese, and Australian Wagyu too. That's pretty cool. Wow, that taste is pretty interesting. I feel that this beef kind of has a little bit of a sharper taste to it. Yeah, because I feel more of a punch. Or maybe it's because I put a lot of sesame sauce on it, but it is still extremely tender. Definitely better than your average all-you-can-eat meat, I'll tell you that. Any meat that you get here is definitely gonna be a knockout. You see, even the full blood shoulder, huge shoulder meat, uh-huh, this is so good too. Very tender piece of meat. By the way, it's kind of a chilly day today, so perfect, especially during the winter time. I mean, even if it's during the summer, I would still eat it. I mean, that's the way they do it in Asia, and I do it too. <laughs> Okay, so that American Chuck, I think that one has a little bit more of a chewiness to it. So if you like your meat that has a little bit more of a chew, that one is the one you should get. Look, they even have this thing too, their own caviar. You see chubby caviar. I'm assuming that stands for chubby cattle. Instead of guacamole, you have millionaires dip right there. That is like the greatest dip I've ever had. I never thought I would have caviar with chips like this. It totally works. Yeah, it works. And this is also by the sauce bar. You could make your own rice creation. So the rice is, you know, you could eat it with the shabu shabu, which is perfectly fine, but I'm gonna show you something pretty cool. Oh yeah, so minced meat, wagyu grade. You add it onto the rice. So it's like a little rice bowl or plate, whatever you wanna call it. And then you can dress it however way you want. I do like green onions on mine. And there's also this other thing called the gobo. It's like a type of a root vegetable. Oh, look how pretty it looks. See? Usually when you eat rice at the end, it's kind of like filler. That means you're pretty much done. As you can tell, I'm nearing the end. I think I've tasted something like this when I was at Wagyu House. It tastes very familiar. Well, I suppose if you wanted to, you could make this into its own meal, right? After all, you got meat and you got rice in here. I'm gonna say this right now. This is the best all-you-can-eat shabu shabu hot pot that I've had like anywhere in LA County. Nowhere else compares to a Makia experience. I mean, when I ate this food, I really felt like I was eating at an a la carte restaurant, like a really nice a la carte shabu shabu restaurant. If you come here to Cerritos or you go to Temple City or wherever else they're opening up a Makia, definitely try it, especially if you love uh, hot pot because you're really gonna dig it. It's, it's one of a kind. All right guys, so before I close out this episode, I wanna give a shout out once again to David, really awesome guy. So if you happen to see him around, whether at this Makia or another Makia somewhere out in the world, just say hi to him and he's gonna take really good care of you, right David? Absolutely, I'd love to have you guys soon. See you guys around. Uh, can't wait to, for all of you to try the food and see you soon. All right. Thank you Steve for coming. Yes, for sure. Awesome, anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next food adventure.